Vibration reading for um, the general readings um, for the month of uh, March. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful shares and surprise. And it's going to be a good month because the month of March, you guys are having the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, the energy of the Wheel of Fortune is very positive. It is new start for some people. Um, it is obviously just new start overall for a lot of people um, it's as if you're coming out of a period from January and February where in this month you are going to be having some real positive new start that is going to be coming up I mean in your life okay um, whatever the situation is and whatever that was transpiring in the months before coming in this month you're having the energy of this wheel of fortune that is going to bring a lot of you guys some success and these success are going to be very very good okay extremely good so with the energy of the wheel of fortune it's a wonderful period that is going to be coming up for you guys and what you have to do and you have to um, align yourself up with the energies that are coming in because these are going to be wonderful and these are going to be positive okay um we have four weeks in a month of March um, it's a pity I like to have five weeks in a, in a month um, I personally think that five weeks in a month is so wonderful but um, remember that we have the last blood moon in March so be aware and be careful because the last couple of months haven't been one of those positive energies that is coming up as you all can see okay so we're going to be looking at the month of March energies um, to see what is transpiring because obviously there is just a lot that is going on and um, we are going to be trying to find out what is the best possibility um, it's all about healing because what I'm saying is that the energies um, the Sunday energies are so high um, the energies are going to be best on Sundays okay so if you're doing any alien rituals the energies are going to be best on Sunday the next energy is the energy um, that is coming up is the energy on Monday um, which is also I uh, Thursday and Wednesday is um, the most ice um, time and energy vibration of this month when I'm looking at the month of March it's all about healing it's all about the blue energies whatever is transpiring it's all about healing it's all about blue energies it is rising the energies or the healing energies are coming up so I so whatever is transpiring um, it is going to be a month of healing. 35% is the energy of the healing um, that is coming in. I energies um, um, manifestation is 29%, so you can manifest in this month. And 11% is a kind of um, regaining friendship, um, looking up your soul family, and that sort of a situation. Now, there's a purple energy that is coming in, and the percent is 7%, okay? Purple is always the energy of more protection, bringing in more protection for yourself, and this is going to be good. The red energies or the eye energies, these are going to be on Thursdays. It's not looking, um, whenever the red energies, like the egos are playing in that sort of a situation where the egos are playing of you, you, yourself or other people, and you need to realize this and bring it in balance. Now you have, um, the month energy is the Wheel of Fortune, and you also have, uh, um, the chariot so whatever is happening you have twice the wheel of fortune and twice the chariot for the people who are going to be having birthdays which is the Pisces and the Aries in the month of March it's going to be very high energy so be aware of this okay um, some of you will have the energy of the wheel of fortune some of you will have the energy of the chariot whatever you decide to do in the month of uh, March do it because it is going to be turning out well okay it is so strange the lightning in here is just so bad um, the lightning <laughs> in here is just so bad but yet still we're just gonna go forward and um, look at the energies now as I said there is four weeks in this month it's a very promising month um, whatever you decide to do go ahead 
we have the first week we have the energy of the fire energy um, the, the this is positive for the the air sign um, the fire sign people very positive energies because this energy is going to be moving you forward it's uh, the first week of March is all about moving forward all about coming out and moving forward and this is going to be good another fire energy in the second week so it's all about passion in the month of March so be aware of this this is about moving forward and finding the strength to move forward and let go of what no longer serve you it is better to do this in the month of March because the month of March is coming in with a high energy vibration that is going to be helping you and supporting you so this is going to be good what we also have here is a water energy in the third week and this water energy is that you need to go within and and and, and sit still and try and figure out what is your next move because the wheel of fortune is going to be bringing some luck for a lot of people a lot of people are going to be receiving some luck and this is going to be very good so um, what this hermit energy is doing is that someone is going to be coming in to show you the way forward and as um, they come in and helping you to show you the way forward listen to them because they have really good ideas of how to move forward and they are going to be supporting you in the right way another energy the fourth week is the wheel of fortune and it's also the energy of the month so this is just so wonderful so positive um, so good that is coming in and this is going to be really wonderful and aligning the energies so um, the last week is going to be powerful first and last week is going to be powerful whatever you decide to do first and last week are the best weeks of this month because those are the best energies uh, these are yes energies in the last week the wheel of fortune is always a yes energy and this is going to be good okay so let's go in and see what the energy of the month is going to be bringing up um, what the energy of the month is going to be bringing up and um, it's all over passion a passionate situation which is coming now there's an offer that is going to be coming in some of you are going to be receiving an offer the first week going the second week take this offer because this offer is going to align you and bring you on a positive positive energy vibration to some place that is very positive something is that is going to be very good in your life um, this could be an offer of work but it could be another offer of something that is coming in your life and take this offer um, whatever offer that you receive in the first week going in the second week it is good just take the offer the second week going into the third week we have the energy of the king of wands whoever this person is um, and this situation is is that this person is moving with ambition okay some of you have to find strength to deal with some fire sign person this could come up in your life as your father if you are an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius be careful what is happening because you need to rethink what you're doing because obviously you're you're moving and you're moving forward and that sort of a thing think of what you're doing because basically um, you're moving too fast so you have to calm down because the second week going in the third week is in a strength and you need to take some time and listen to what you're doing for you fire sign people because that is going to be affecting you you can see the energy of the fire um, coming out third week going into the fourth week there is um, a positive message and this is the energy of the nine of Pentacles two four six eight ten of Pentacles so obviously there is some money that is going to be coming out the end of March um, for some of you the Wheel of Fortune um, will carry this it depends on who you are um, whenever you look at your general energies uh, to see which zodiacs are going to be profiting from this night of this ten of Pentacles this is a financial family support then you will know so third week going in the in the fourth week is going to be good because um, um, a lot of people are going to be heading in the month good this could be tax situation and that sort of a thing so it's going to be really wonderful and really really positive as we look at the second week to see what to focus on in the second week the second week there is another fire energy that is coming up here in the second week the second week is a fire week so the second week is going to affect a lot of Sagittarians and Ophiosus people a lot of Sagittarians and Ophiosus people um, this second week is going to affect 
and um, whatever the situation is it could be a fast moving week so um, let me look at the energy yeah it is the nine of wands um, it's 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 really a week where you need to be understanding where you are what is going on what is affecting you um, what is transpiring by you so you need to really understand this sort of energy that is coming in in the second week and this is definitely going to be taking place in the second week because the energy of strength is in the second week and with the energy of strength is that universe is saying you're spiritually protected so this is going to be good so whatever the situation is that is working out not to worry about it you are spiritually protected and all you have to do is listen to your own intuition and move forward in the second week the third week we have the energy of the hermit which is a water energy and you're dealing with an organization now whatever the situation with this organization or with this group of people that is going to be happening in the third week you have to understand that love is the only thing that is real okay you have to understand and communicate clearly so that people can understand what is going on and what has transpired and as you do judge you're going to be realizing that a lot of situation is going to be really working out um, for you guys okay a lot of situation is going to really work out for you guys it's really a fire month It's a passionate month in the third week a lot of you hurt signs need to go within and think of how you're going to be moving on um, some of you earth signs could be receiving some extra money um, so that is here um, and you have you're going to definitely receive some extra money of five of Pentacles is the outcome for this month now um, whatever the hardship we're going to be looking at it to see why the energy of the five of Pentacles comes out so whenever the, the five of Pentacles is all about hardship it's all about hardship it's all about financial strain and hardship and that sort of a situation and you're going to be finding out and some of you fire sign people are basically going to be finding out that there are people that has been blocking your way for whatever reason or you have been blocking the way of others and um, it's going to be removed because it's as if the universe is going to be saying now you have um, you have had all your reign and now they're going to be moving you away so recapping and going back on um, the energy of the first week is movement it's movement it's you moving forward some of you if you're looking to buy a car or uh, to get a new vehicle the first week is going to be good you're going to be receiving an offer um, and this is going to be good the seven of the nine of wands is here and the energy of the nine of wands is that you're protected and your financial stability will be good and will be getting much better so not to worry there is definitely in a strength that is coming up in the second week this inner strength is um, you have to find inner strength to move forward and move away some of you fire sign because it's affecting the older people um, the older people with fire sign energies in their birth chart this month of March is going to affect really the older people with the birth sign of the fire sign in their chart because it's all about the hurt um, it's all about fire there is only in the third week in the third week what we're seeing is that you're going to be receiving some of you are going to be receiving some information in the third week and this information is going to let you know that there was someone who was blocking you but now you're being protected from this person okay that someone was getting involved in your life but now you're being protected from this person the wheel of fortune in the last week brings financial stability for a lot of you so it's going to be good remember this is a general reading so you have to go back and ask for and go and listen to the monthly readings for your sign but for the rest um some of you are going to be receiving some money from an organization or an organization is going to be helping you out financially in whatever the situation is okay so be aware of that the energy of the latest between the ages of 45 years and older um, the earth people you're going to be receiving money at the end of March okay your financial stability is going to be getting good at the end of March so remember um, the um, remember that 
um, you um, earth sign your financial situation is going to be getting good at the end of March okay so let's see what else is um, um, coming up some of you if you're looking for a car it's going to be good in the first week okay so um, you will receive an offer and you your financial situation you will receive the financial stone for this car okay the energy um, that is coming in especially it's good this month is going to affect a lot of the fire sign people a lot of fire sign people some of you um, someone is going to be coming in like a master or a guide is going to be coming in and and going to be helping you to balance out your financial situation and this is good um, the older men 45 years and older that is a fire sign you're going to be affected by an organization and this organization whatever you have done to someone else or something else is going to be affecting you so again I'm advising you guys to go and check out your own zodiac reading because there um, you will be able um, to um, receive um, more reading more information um, from um, this energies okay I am going to do a love reading um, I'm gonna do a love reading I'm gonna start doing the love reading and the money reading um, first I'll do the love reading to see what is coming out for love for the month of March and remember that this is just the general energies um, of love what is going to be coming out uh, in the month of March in love um, nine of um, nine of swords there's going to be worries um, in the love arena there is just going to be a lot of worries and again the king of fire comes out so obviously um, you men you men especially yeah you men that are Aries they are Sagittarius 45 years and older there is there is just a lot of deception you either you or someone there's going to be a lot of worries especially in love um, for you men okay whatever the situation is there is just going to be a lot of worries for you men that is coming out so whatever that is transpiring um, you men are going to be affecting with the energy of the nine of uh, um, the nine of swords and the ten of swords okay lies and deception you could be the one that is doing this lies and deception for the fire sign men okay so fire sign men if you're in a relationship with a fire sign men be aware because this is going to be coming out then we have the nine of water some of you your wishes and dreams are going to be coming through which is um, very good and then the energy of the towers is going to be bringing down whatever worries that there was so in love it's kind of shady it's um it's really kind of shady um, there is definitely a kind of shadiness that is going on in love um, some of you are going to be having happiness and joy in love and this is going to be good but I'm saying like um, a lot of worries in love and especially for the fire, fire sign people um, the older fire sign people there is just like a lot of shady deals that is going on in love let's see what is this nine of swords energy bringing in um, the six of swords so some of you could be walking away from a relationship then we have the energy of the princess of Pentacles is dealing with the king of fire whoever um, this person is the princess of Pentacles is dealing with um, this fire sign person I'm saying here the nine of cups your wishes and your dreams are going to be coming out so twice um, so whatever lies and deception there was whoever had, um, had found out of a, of a misconception in your relationship you or your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out because um, it's as if you found out that someone um, who you were dealing with whether a friend or your partner was not being very honest and you're going to be finding out that finding out about the lies and the deception so you're going to be definitely getting over this so, so it's gonna be good for some people 
um, this is the energy of the six of one some good news it's going to be coming out for you whatever is transpiring there, there's definitely some good news in love is going to be coming out for a lot of you good news in love and I'm seeing that the tower is bringing down the end to something that was being very deceptive whatever the situation is whatever that was transpiring I'm seeing the tower bringing down deception to a lot of things a lot of deceptive things that was going on in the relationship so let's say in your relationship there was some deceptive things I'm seeing the tower bringing this down to an end and some of you are going to be having this wonderful new start in your relationship definitely some wonderful new start because I'm seeing here as the center which is good um, the center a message is going to be coming in and this message is um, a good message this is also a message that is going to be coming in of a new start with love a new start in love so this is going to be very positive for um, a lot of you guys but you know the relationships in the month and this is why I decided to change the way I do my reading and going to look at relationship and money to see what is the energy for relationship and money and we are going to be figuring out this in the just the general readings also so that people can know as you go and look at um, the rest of the reading you will know whether it's going to what is going to affect you guys so there's some good news about money that is going to be coming out but for the people who were in conflicts with a relationship that sort of a thing it could be being conflicts with a relationship or you know having thoughts about a relationship is this the right relationship is the relationship going good that sort of a thing what is going to be transpiring is that there is going to be a way that you're going to be figuring out that things is going to be working out for you um, in a very very positive positive way okay and then we have a lot of positive energy in love because um, people especially if you were in a relationship with a fire sign person an Aries Leo or Sagittarius 45 years and older um, you are going to be overcoming whatever this person has done okay because here again um, some of you if you're in a relationship um, if you're an earth sign in a relationship with a fire sign it could be also a situation that is happening to your father okay so let's say um, your father is an um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius you could be dealing with a situation with your father for some of you you're going to be um, realizing and seeing that this person has uh, done some deception things or um, you're going to be finding out um, some real things that there was some lies and deception and your wishes and dreams are finally going to be coming true because you're going to be overcoming this people who were in relationship that there was some lies and deception your wishes and dreams are definitely going to be coming out and um, that you know you're getting out of the relationship for whatever the situation is nine of cups comes up again and the six of one so some of you are going to be happily releasing yourself from a relationship some of you are going to be happily releasing yourself from a relationship and uh, um, check out your own energy vibration to see where is this happening um, obviously the energy of the tower and debt comes in the energy of the tower and debt comes in some of you your father could be passing away if it's an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius your father could be passing away if it's an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay now let's look at the financial section of the month of March so we're calling up in the angels and light the universal angels to see what is coming up and the financial section I'm going to set a diamond I always lay out a diamond spread diamond spread um, for love so the first energy we for money we have the um, seven of cups the energy of the seven of cups is letting you know eight of cups um, it's letting you know with money there is going to be some situation that is going to be coming up with money but there is going to be a lot of offers that is going to be coming in some of you um, are going to be dealing with the prince the prince of cups so the prince of cups this person is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, maybe they need to, to pay you 
whatever the situation is maybe they need to pay you um, or they have taken some money the three of ones is here and um, in the money reading that is uh, you're waiting some of you are waiting but the world is here oh my god this is just so beautiful um, so whenever the energy of the world comes up um, in a money reading what this is basically saying is that and the center is the devil so there is a lot of situation where some of you are waiting for some money to come in the energy of the world is here it's definitely going to be coming in but it is going to be taking some time a new start in your financial situation is going to be coming in at the end of the month now a lot of you are going to have to make some decision about your financial uh, stability okay so um, again this is just a general reading for the month so um, this is really just a, um, a general reading for the month so you have to check out your own zodiac sign and then you will see okay so there is a situation that calls you um, because there is a blockage in some of some of you financial stability um, now the energy of the four of swords is here and um, you guys are still waiting 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 for some money to come in ten of ones is here your burdens are going to be um, come um, ending um, because um, your burdens are going to be ending so if you had burdened some financial situation it's going to be ending energy of the Sun is here with the world that means at the end of the month your financial situation is going to be good whoever was dealing um, with a Pisces cancer scorpion a young person the eight of ones is here you're going to be receiving some news from this person um, for whatever the situation is you're definitely going to so the money section in this month is really so give yourself some time in this month especially with money um, and then it, it, it to basically um, come out for the best okay um, let's see um, what else is happening I'm using the deck the universe have your back to see what is coming up for these general readings and we have in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring um, bring you uh, towards the right-minded thinking and the energy of love okay so this is the message the general message for you guys in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring you towards the right-minded thinking and the energy of love okay so this is good ladies and gentlemen please go and check out your general uh, your um, Bert signed reading to see what is coming up. I want to say thank you for being here. Namaste until next time.